Hello and welcome to Cloud On. We are excited to tell you about the new features we have added to Cloud On in hopes of making your mobile workspace even more amazing. These include an Adobe Reader, an image viewer, the ability to send files from the workspace via email, and the ability to connect to additional storage providers. Let's walk through some of these new features. Cloud On now offers the ability to view PDFs and image files, including JPEG, PNG, TIFF, and GIF. Files that can be opened by the Adobe Reader or the Viewer are labeled under Type. With the Reader, you can open basic and 3D PDFs and fill out form PDFs. To do this, I select the file I'd like to open, then I work within the PDF however I would like. At any time, I can return back to the workspace by tapping the navigation bar icon and noting that my file is being saved. Let's look at the Image Viewer next. One thing to note about the viewer is that it enables you to open an image from your folders and copy and paste into a Word, Excel, or PowerPoint file. To do this, I tap the name of the image I'd like to open. Once opened, I tap the copy icon on the top left. This image is now copied to the clipboard and I can open an Office file and select Paste to insert the image. In CloudOn 2.0, I can also email files to a friend or colleague, whether or not they have a CloudOn account. To do this, I tap and hold on the name of the file I would like to send. This will bring up the edit menu. From here, I select email. I can also tap the action icon, select my file, and then tap email. Now an email dialog box appears. Note, I have the option to choose the CC me box if I would like to also receive a copy of this email. In the to field, add contacts by tapping them manually. I can also tap the plus symbol to add contacts from the address book found in the email accounts on my device. Please note, you can add a maximum of five contacts per email. After I'm finished adding contacts, I confirm I have selected the correct file and now have the option to add any comments I'd like to share with the email recipients. Then I tap send and the file will be sent momentarily. Finally, CloudOn 2.0 now supports Box in addition to Dropbox. To link to a new storage provider, tap the Cloud On menu icon at the top of the workspace and select Settings. Under Services, I choose which storage provider to add by tapping Connect Service next to the service's name. I then enter my credentials for this provider, in this case Box. An important point to note is that although my credentials may be the same for this service as they are for Cloud On, these are separate accounts. After I enter my credentials and tap Confirm, I can return back to the workspace. Now, anytime I use CloudOn, I am able to open and edit any files I have stored with this service. We hope this has given you a good introduction to the new features within the CloudOn workspace. For more information, please visit us at cloudon.com.